Okay, we're talking about tools that we might use for furnace testing and inspection. So mainly, every time we're going to start up a furnace, a gas furnace we're talking about, we're going to have to be able to set the gas pressure. There's no way to do that without a gas pressure gauge. So getting one that's made specifically for furnaces like this is the best way to go because we might be dealing with natural gas, we might be dealing with propane, and both of them use different pressures. So if you get a gauge like this, it tends to have the markings already marked on there. And we're also, we're not only gonna be testing gas line pressure, we're gonna be testing the manifold pressure while the unit is running. So while the furnace is on, we're gonna to wanna to know gas pressure and manifold pressure at the burner. Now, along with knowing those things, which is very critical, we're gonna to wanna to be able to inspect older furnaces. With older furnaces, we might take something like this boroscope. Okay, this allows us to snake inside. It's got like a camera version on the back. So whatever I can get this in, this end in, I can see on the camera screen. So it'll allow me to drill a small hole, snake down in there, get a good look at what's going on in the heat exchanger. Do I see any cracks or holes or even suspect areas? When I'm checking a furnace, even if I don't see a hole or a crack, but I see just a lot of deterioration, that's enough. That's enough for me to suspect that if it's not bad today, it will be soon enough to, to condemn it or at least alert the customer. Now we also have carbon monoxide detectors. Uh, keep in mind that carbon monoxide is a product of incomplete combustion. So if we have carbon monoxide being developed, we need to be concerned about that. I like to walk through the house when the furnace has been running and see what's going on in the home. Now what's not shown here would be combustion analyzers. Very expensive tools that a lot of companies will want you to have. Most likely they'll provide that for you, but you're gonna to wanna to analyze the combustion. Most of the furnaces are running correctly anyway, but it's a good point to be able to analyze the combustion flue. So with furnaces and the tools and top of all the other hand tools we have, you're gonna need a few specifics, get them and use them to test the furnaces.